there, it's Vicki McCarthy from Aussie Stampers. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today I have a giveaway for you for the month of June. For anybody who shops in my online store, these are my thank you gifts. A note card and envelope wallet. So this is what it will look like when you receive it. You can see it's a folded piece that is put together. It has a spine, little word hello on the front, and it'll be in one of several different colorways. So here's the Mill and Mumbo version. And Old Olive. And what you do with these once you have them is you can fill them with the note cards and envelopes like this. So what I'm doing with mine is filling it up with some note cards and envelopes on this side. See how beautifully they fit in there. This is a one sheet wonder project. It's made with one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock and I'll be showing you how to do that in a moment. But it will fit six of the note cards in one side and six envelopes in the other. So this makes a really nice little gift to give to people. And what you'll receive will be the wallet to fill up with the note cards and envelopes. I'll be posting these out to you. Remember not to check the no contact button when you place your order so that I have a way of contacting you so that I can post them to your home address and you'll receive one of these adorable little note card and envelope wallets to keep your note cards and envelopes in. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make one of these little wallets. When you're using thinlets, if you put some waxed paper between the thinlets and the cardstock, it's much easier to pull this apart. That's cut out the wax paper as well. Now I'm just going to pop that out with a paper piercer. Just popping in where the little holes are there. So if you haven't used these thinlets before, they're fabulous. I love using them. They're fun. Here we go. Just getting rid of all the extra pieces. Just pull it out a little bit gently because you don't want it to tear. So there it is. And what you can see is the wax paper. So I'm using rich Razzleberry cardstock and a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And the measurements for the Whisper White cardstock are three and one eighth of an inch by one and three quarter inches. So I'm going to take my 12 by 12 sheet with the thick end of the stylus. I'm going to score it two inches. Then I'm going to turn 90 degrees, score at two and a half inches. Turn it back again at 90 degrees to two inches. Then I'm going to turn it and score to three and three quarter inches, which is up here. And I also want to do what's going to be the spine. So if you can see on this one here, you can see this spine section in here. This piece here is what we need to get a fold on as well. So I'm going to score. Oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it again so that we have it like this. So we're going to turn it around for the final time. And now we're going to score here at five and three quarters inches. And score at six and one quarter inches as well so this now makes the spine that's going to go in the middle that's all your scoring that you need to do so finished with our scoring tool and now I'm just going to fold using my fingers I think it's a little bit easier on the cardstock if you use your fingers and not a not a bone folder on this but that's a personal preference so I'm going to score these two pieces and I'll show you here, these are going to be our side flaps here. Then I'm going to score or fold with my fingers just down to where we made the two inch mark on each of these edges. So these are the two inch sides. I'm just going to score down with my finger. It's easy to match up the very corner there with your score line. There we go and around to the final one very good we're going to fold these up like so then we're going to fold this back on itself so how this works is we're going to flip it over and fold this way so 
so now we have this shape so there's your outside there's the inside now you don't need any adhesive at all for this all you do is just tuck this piece under here and tuck this end under here our wallet is almost there all we need to do now is fold along the spine lines and this is where I will bring a bone folder in because this does take a little bit of extra scoring here because it's it's four thicknesses of paper or extra thicknesses of paper here and score again here and here's our wallet ready for decorating so this is how it is no adhesive that just clicks under here like that and once you've put your note cards and envelopes in it you can have it this way where you've got the longer piece at the top or you can have it this way where you've got the smaller piece at the top it's really your preference with mine i put them together with the smaller piece at the top it just seemed to give the weighted piece here a little bit more space so we'll do the same on this one doesn't really matter as i say you can do it either way now we're going to decorate so all we need to do here is to grab some Tombow Multi Adhesive, my Whisper White piece of cardstock. And what I'm going to do before I adhere the white piece is I'm going to use this as a little mat to sit my hello on while I add some glue. If you have the fine tip glue pen, this would work extremely well. But I am quite happy to use the Tombow and just use a small amount. So what I do is, because I'm going to be gluing this down, I'm going to get my Tombow started on here. Then I'm just going to dot onto the word hello and pick up some from where I've made a little pool of glue. I'm not squeezing the glue at all. I'm just picking it up from the pool. I'm just going to pop that to one side. Now where I've used the glue here, this is going to be the back of my decor piece. I'm just going to glue this onto the center of the front of my note card and envelopes wallet like so and now I can flip this over and tweezers would be good but I don't know where I put my tweezers at the moment they are on my desk somewhere but I just don't want to fiddle around looking for them I'll use my fingers easy enough and there's our word hello so there's the rich razzleberry version of the free gift for june for my online customers all you need to receive this is to order from my store from the new catalog when it comes out in june and you can receive a note card and envelope wallet to keep your note cards and envelopes in place or just to put together a little gift pack for somebody by filling it up with some note cards and envelopes that you've made so remember if you're shopping from my online store in june this is my thank you gift to my customers i look forward to hearing from you i hope you enjoyed that project today and i'll see you again next time bye for now